New for Biopack Student Lab, BSL-4 is a major update for both Windows and Mac-based operating systems. One of the major updates to BSL-4 is the use of multimedia lessons. The lessons include full-color, on-screen guides with embedded procedure videos and data samples to ensure students record great data. The multimedia lessons also include updated physiology introductions that students can access via the software help menu. Students can review the introduction and lesson procedure to prepare for their lab. Also new for BSL-4 are integrated data reports. Students can now complete their data report in the software journal and then save or email them to an instructor. Another update to BSL-4 are the advanced analysis features including heart rate variability, updated cycle detector, histogram, and enhanced marker and preset options. Now let's see these upgrades in action in a BSL-4 lesson. When we enter the new BSL-4 lesson, the first thing you'll notice is the new full-color on-screen lesson guide. On the bottom half of the software pane, you'll see the tab setup menu showing our hardware, subject, and calibration menus. First, we can verify our hardware connections by reading these instructions and comparing our setup to the picture located on the right-hand side. Once we've verified the hardware settings, we can move on to our subject preparation. Again, written instructions will be shown on the left, and on the right, we have pictures showing the proper electrode placement, lead connection, grip position, and seating position to ensure that students record good data. The last step in our setup is calibration. Here, again, you'll see the written instructions on the left, and on the right, you'll see an example of an embedded video that students can watch to see the calibration procedure before they proceed to ensure accuracy. Once students have watched the video, they can then follow these instructions, click Calibrate, and begin their calibration recording. Once students have successfully calibrated, they can move on to the recording portion of the lesson. Here, they can use the tab menu to look at the associated setup and task instructions. In this lesson, students will be doing increasing clench forces with their dominant arm. As you can see, there is example data shown in the graph below, as well as an embedded video showing the lesson in action. Students can watch the video, read the instructions, and then proceed to record their own data. Now watch as this student records their dominant arm clench force data. As you can see, the student's live recording data is following the instructions that were shown in the example data lesson procedure. The student is doing a series of clench, hold, release cycles until their maximum grip strength is reached. After recording a segment, students can compare their data to the predicted data shown in the example data box. If their recording does not resemble the example data, they can take a look at the suggestions listed below and then redo their recording segment. Once students have finished recording, they can move on to the analysis portion of the lesson. The student's data will be summarized in the top half of the software window, followed by the rich text journal containing the integrated data report. Students can take measurements from the data and easily insert them into the table below by finding the column they're interested in, right-clicking, clicking on Insert Single Measurement Value, and then selecting from the option list. In this case, we're looking for the mean of channel 41. So we'll select this, click OK, and that value will be inserted into the table. Students can continue adding measurements to the tables and then answer the questions that are contained in the data report. Students can also insert a picture of their graph into their data report. To do this, they select the area they're interested in, click on Copy Graph, right-click in the data report, click Paste, and the image will be inserted. As you can see, the image inserted into the data report maintains the same channel labels, grid settings, and scaling values as the original graph. Once finished, students can print, save, and email their data report to their instructor for review. This lesson has shown just a few of the exciting user interface upgrades that are available in BSL-4. For more information on adding BSL-4 to your lab, you can contact your local representative, email us at info at biopack.com, or visit us online at www.biopack.com. Be sure to ask about our 25% discount on additional upgrades.